briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1939, the U.S. Supreme Court heard Case v. Los Angeles Lumber Products Company, a lawsuit focusing on the priority of creditors over stockholders in a reorganization plan when a company is insolvent. The case involved a bankrupt holding company that owned six subsidiaries, including Los Angeles Shipbuilding and Dry Dock Corporation. The company filed for reorganization under Section 77B of the Bankruptcy Act due to its significant debt. A plan approved by lower courts proposed the formation of a new company, but some bondholders objected, claiming the plan was unfair to them. The Supreme Court reviewed the case to determine if the plan was indeed fair and equitable. Ultimately, the court concluded that the lower court had made a mistake in allowing stockholders to be involved in the plan, which removed a valuable agreement to delay foreclosure until 1944, benefiting bondholders. The Supreme Court reversed the lower court's decision, deeming the approved plan unfair and inequitable to the bondholders. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.